Okay, we're ready to talk about activities, activity eight, activity eight, and activity nine, because we've got some daily chores and responsibilities. Remember, that's one of the words we talked about, chores, chores, things that we do around the house or at school that we uh, need to do, but it's not particularly pleasant to do, and they're responsibilities that adults have. So we want to match the pictures on the page with the actions from the list below. Um, and how about this? I will ask you what's going on in picture A, and you can tell me what's the what's the verb phrase in picture A. Warm up the baby's bottle. Okay, so picture A shows warm up the baby's bottle. How about picture B? What does picture B show us? Feed the baby. Feed the baby. All right, let's take a look at picture C. What do we see in picture C? Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Let's take a look at picture D. Picture D. Set the table. Set the table. Set the table. What about picture E? Change the baby's diaper. Change the baby's diaper. Below that, picture F. Give the baby a bath. Give the baby a bath. Now be careful, because sometimes I hear my students say, I'm going to take the baby a bath. We don't do that. I take a bath for myself, but I give the baby a bath. Do you see the difference? When I do it myself, I say I take a bath, I take a shower, but when you do it for someone else, then you give, all right? So give the baby a bath. Picture G, what do we have here? Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. In picture H, what's going on? What's the verb? Make breakfast. Make breakfast. Make breakfast. Okay, and we have in picture, in activity nine, we have more pictures. Picture I, picture I, what's the action here? Make coffee. Make coffee. Make coffee. In picture J, what's the action? Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Under that, we have picture K. What do we see in picture K? What's the action? Clear the table. Clear the table. Clear the table. Now, I want to tell you the difference between clean and clear because sometimes my students get mixed up between those two. If you clear the table, it means you remove all the things from the table, like the plates and the dishes and the knife and the cups and the napkins. You take them away. You put them in the, dish, in the dishwasher or in the sink to wash them. You clear. Clean means you have to make it clean. You have to scrub it. You have to wash it. Okay, so this one is clear the table. And below that we have picture L. What do we see here? Make the bed. Make the bed. Make the bed. In picture M, what's going on? What's the action? Fold the laundry. Fold the the laundry. Fold the laundry. Picture N. Read the child a book. Read the child a book. Read the child a book. Picture O. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. We can also say, 
take out the trash, T-R-A-S-H. Take out the trash, take out the trash. P, picture P. Make lunch, make lunch, make lunch. All right, so let's make some conversations, making requests in conversation. Dialogue one, listen. Could you please make some coffee? Sure, I'd be glad to. Now, you say, could you please make some coffee? Could you please make some coffee? I want to hear you say, j, j, j. Could you? Could you? Good. Don't say, could you? Say, could you? Very nice. Could you please make some coffee? Could you please make some coffee? Sure, I'd be glad to. I'd means I would, and the contraction is I'd. I'd be glad to. Sure, I'd be glad to. Dialogue two, listen. Could you please take out the trash? No, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm holding the baby right now. Now, you repeat. Could you please take out the trash? Could you please take out the trash? No, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm holding the baby right now. Now, I'm going to have you work with a partner to make some conversations. And you're going to use the vocabulary, the verb phrases that are on these two pages. And your partner can either agree or disagree for practice. All right, take off your headphones. And why don't you find a different partner and you say, would you like to be my partner this time? Sure, I'd be glad to.